Hey, what's up guys? Snowy Minotaur here. This is going to be a different video. Um, I usually do scripts for videos, but this is not going to be a scripted video. I'm just going to be talking as honest as possible here because, oh my god, I, I don't know what to say on this whole situation. Uh, okay, I actually have a question. Epic, what is going on? What, 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 what is happening over there? Why are you guys just ignoring the community when it comes to the problems that have been happening within like the item shop and the locker UI, why have you just been ignoring us and yet have been doubling down on such awful decisions? This leads me on to today on what happened in the recent update as of April 9th of 2024. We just had a brand new update and I gotta be honest here, there's some pretty cool things to look forward to. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, the collab is technically started. We have like three skins in the item shop. Uh, pretty cool. I do think that the skins look really good. I do not agree with the prices though at 2,000 V-Bucks. I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, I do think that they should have been separate in bundles, but you know, I completely digress here. The skins look really good. Um, there's also some new Coachella skins that are going to be coming out later on this this update which is really cool I'm very excited for that including like a new J Balvin skin uh there's also like some new Lego stuff that was added and like even Rue she actually got updated just recently with a new Lego variant I'm gonna be making a video talking about Rue for later this month by the way so stay tuned for that that is not what I'm gonna talk about here in this video because I'm gonna be talking about a really really bad change that I don't know anybody who's really for so the change in which I am going to be talking about here in today's video has to do with the locker UI and also just the lockers in general, cosmetics, and the item shop. So Epic has actually officially come out with a brand new way of more or less with how cosmetics work now. It's, it's a new way that, that like makes cosmetics look very weird and the pricing of them in general. The way I'm trying to say this here is this. They basically messed up cosmetics entirely this, this freaking update. Like I'm generally pissed. Because this is yet another like reason to like add more stuff to a laundry list of problems that nobody had or even had like any remote problems with. So what they decided to do was two things. The first one is actually something which I'm actually pretty excited for. They basically are adding back the shop timer to individual cosmetics, meaning that you can see them with individual cosmetics seeing like when they're going to leave the item shop. I think that's actually a really cool idea. I do honestly think that they should just bring back the timer in general, but this is the closest thing that we're going to get to it. And honestly, I think this is probably just as good, if not a little better than what we had previously, because at the very least, it will now tell you when cosmetics are leaving. That's a cool idea. I think that's cool. It's going to be coming out in May. That's that, that I'm actually excited for. The other one <laughs> is not a good change. And that is they decide to remove cosmetic color tiers and names for Fortnite cosmetics. The shop has evolved significantly to support multiple types of cosmetics and items across games. So we're retiring the old Battle Royale inspired system of colors and tags for cosmetic quality. Different series of cosmetics such as Icon series and Gaming Legends series will still be there to help you find your favorite stuff. That is right, they are getting rid of uncommon through legendary rarity for every cosmetic in Fortnite now, when literally not a soul has asked. I don't know anybody who is really for this change. So many people are pissed off about this, and it gets even worse because, like, they even changed the locker UI. The locker UI has already been terrible to begin with. Okay, they decided because there's no rarities of skins anymore from uncommon to legendary, they decided to put all the skins in alphabetical order as the new default. Besides the other series of cosmetics that they mentioned in examples. Are you kidding me? Why, why are they just changing stuff that never needed to be changed and wasn't a problem for years? Like the rarity system helped so much with people because of like money problems just in general like how much a cosmetic costs in the item shop this has not been a problem for almost seven years and now they think it's a problem are you kidding me and it helps even more with the locker ui because people were asking for rarity to be back in the locker ui for basic cosmetics not to be removed this is backwards logic i don't understand this and i feel like the reasoning behind this isn't because of quote cosmetic quality i honestly feel like it's because of the recent pricings that they've been getting for fortnite's cosmetics literally this could not have come out at a worse timing to where literally people have been starting to complain about fortnite cosmetics that are just being extremely overpriced 
Now, obviously, I'm not talking about, like, the cars being overpriced or even, like, those garbage Lego kits that are just terribly priced and overpriced to hell. I'm more or less, I'm talking about skins and other cosmetics because just recently, we just had a few skins released. One of them was the Hail skin, who is 1,200 V-Bucks and doesn't even have a freaking back bling, edit styles, no reactivity, no nothing. 1,200 V-Bucks for this skin is terrible. And just recently, we just had another emote called Wishin come out, which is 500 V-Bucks, and it goes on for like three, four, like I think five or six seconds. And that's 500 V-Bucks? Like the pricing on this stuff is so bad. I don't understand. And obviously with the new Avatar stuff out, they're so overpriced. And with this new change out, it feels like the reason why they're doing this is because now they can price any cosmetic now at any price that was originally there. So like an 800 V-Bucks skin could now be costed 2,000 V-Bucks. I don't understand why the hell they're doing this because this feels more corporate than ever. I know people are probably going to say it's Lego's fault. I generally don't think it's Lego because if it was the Lego game mode, then they would have done this at the very beginning. And this doesn't make sense at all. It really doesn't because the rarity was there in the locker to begin with. It was just in very small text though. But it's not only from the locker that's got removed. It's also from the item shop. So you don't know what the rarity of a skin is because you can't see the rarity anymore of the background because that helped people distinguish on what the rarity of that cosmetic is from the item shop so why remove stuff that doesn't need to be removed or just change stuff that was never a problem to begin with this is just backwards logic i don't understand why they're doing this i really don't but epic you guys are just not listening to the fortnite community at all i don't understand why they're going in this direction and why they keep doubling down on this they know that people are mad about this and you guys remember when they said that the lock ui was going to change was this the change that people were saying was this the change that they wanted no nobody wanted this change i don't know anybody who was wanting them to remove rarity for skins i don't get it i generally don't get this this is such backwards logic and such a really pointless change that nobody asked for but that's it for today's video sorry for the rant there but i had to say what i had to say here so thank you all so much for watching i love every single one of you uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm jumbling up my words but you know don't forget to check out my twitter my x account socials are on screen thank you all so much for watching love every single one of you remember one it's always good to take chances i don't know what to say like i generally don't know what to say just peace out everyone